Okay, let's put on our seat stays now. So our seat stays are wired and placed. And the good thing is you can see that the lengths are about the same. So my alignment's pretty good thus far. I'm going to make a mark where we want our seat stay to end. Right about there. Okay, let's assemble and flux. Let's apply plenty of flux. Okay, everything's fluxed and assembled. We don't need a jig here, just a couple of C-clamps. Brake cable with a vice grip. Let's check our alignment. Okay, so we have a front triangle, or a quadrilateral as I like to call it, and a rear triangle. It's getting there. We're going to have to cut our brake boss here and here. Okay, it's time to put on our cable stops now. I went ahead and uh, ground off one of the ends of this so it's nice and flat, so it'll stick to our frame better. So this little jig here is actually an external fixation device. Uh, basically it was a jig that you held my forearm together when I endoed and broke it in who knows how many pieces. Nasty stuff, it went through the skin into the bone. Uh, this actually cost me about $1,000 through my copay. My insurance company paid about $11,000. i am sure uh, the viewer can find a cheaper way of, uh, and less painful way of finding a jig to put the little brazons like your cable stops on. Okay, let's cut a groove so we can uh, keep in our seat post. And we need to drill a stress relief hole. Do you want me to hone this out? Is that what you're asking? Yes, like? yeah, hone that out. And then uh, face the headset. So one inch. And the bottom bracket shell. Just like you did last time. It was perfect last time. Okay, looks like they did a pretty good job on the seat tube. And the head tube, you can see a nice ring of silver. Good penetration. The next step is to get this frame painted. So here's the bicycle built up with components. I also got it powder coated this blue color. Now the component selection was hand picked for its specified function, which is to serve as a commuter bicycle to and from McDonald's. Now, as a healthcare provider, I can't actually recommend anyone ever eat at McDonald's. But we'll make an exception for uh, my father, and here's why. He grew up uh, during uh, World War II uh, in London during the Blitz, uh, with bombs going off around him, and there's never anything to eat. They were rationing back then. Maybe on a uh, good day he would get to eat uh, dead Luftwaffe pilot. Yeah, I wonder what dead German pilot tastes like. Probably like the McRib, only a lot tougher. So my father was uh, very skinny during most of his youth, and he moved to the U.S. in the land of plenty, and he was able to keep the weight off and maintain a uh, good cardiovascular risk profile. So if he occasionally wants to take a trip to McDonald's uh, in his retirement, uh, that's fine. These handlebars and stem allow for nice upright posture, which is uh, more comfortable for someone of retirement age, and also keeps your head out to look out for crazed minivan drivers. We got a nice custom chain guard here in the event he wakes up in the morning and it's cold, and he wants to get a sausage McMuffin or a or an egg McMuffin or, or whatever, uh, and he wants to wear uh, uh, long pants. He can get to and from uh, McDonald's without getting his uh, chain caught in his pants. We got a nice wooden rack here in the event that he orders like a double quarter pounder with cheese and he can't finish it and he needs to take uh, some leftovers home. Let's take this for a ride. So far it breaks well, it shifts well. You know, it's built more for stability than agility. Definitely great for commuting, running errands, rails to trails. It's a nice bike. That's it. I'm done. Finished.